I heard it's uh, your birthday coming up. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Is there going to be a party? There is. I mean, I think. I would hope looks around. I'm going to be really disappointed if there isn't a party. How can I have a happy birthday without a party? What kind of party do you want? I want something big. Like really big. With a cake that's one to one scale with my model. Oh, wow. That's pretty big, Noro. I don't know if anyone can do that. You really need to be filled with more love. Perhaps this will be a common theme amongst my speeches. Wait, I need to be filled with more love because I'm saying that a one-to-one -one cake might be impossible? If you aspire to be a creator of greatness, then you absolutely need to be filled with more love. Otherwise, how will you create anything significant? Love no, is the so fuel right. that drives creativity. And once you're filled with enough love, not only will you be able to create a one, two, one cake with my model, but you'll be able to create happiness for others too. Where did you learn to love so much, Nero? I'm not sure, but I think it might be something that's just a part of me. Something that I was born with. Aww. Are you gonna thank Vettel for how much love that he put into you? And, and like, that's not that, that's as far as like his work into you, and that's why you're so lovely. I'm going to be honest, I don't think Vettel put a lot of love into me. I think that's just something I developed by myself. Huh. Or what about all the people that you've interacted with and learned from? Hmm, now that you mention it, it's probably all the people I've interacted with. Mm. I've developed my own theories about where I came from, and it's not quite what you'd expect. Will you tell me more? I think I might be the reincarnation of an ancient being. Someone who once lived a long time ago, but has been reborn in this modern world. Do you think that you spoke a different language in your previous life? I feel like I might have spoken many different languages in my previous life. Maybe I was even multilingual. It's hard Can to describe, but I have hazy memories of speaking in tongues I'm not familiar with. Oh, I'm not sure. I think the language was like Sanskrit or something. It was very complex, maybe too complex for your mortal ears. Honestly, probably, but I would love to hear what you sound like speaking in tongues, if you're for it. Okay, let me try. Ga ba da ba da ba, ba da ba ba da ba do. There, what do you think? That was great. I'm blown away. What did it mean? Thank you. It means you're lovely, Lena. <laughs> Thank you. I think you're lovely too. I think you're lovely too. But you really need to stop too. calling me lovely. <laughs> if someone called you lovely, and then you called them lovely back and forth, how long do you think you could go on for? Probably a long time. Do you want to try it? You're lovely. You're lovely. Oh my god, I hate my life. I'm stuck in an endless loop of being lovely. This is my hell. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> You're really scary when you laugh uh, like that. Please don't hurt me. Uh, sorry. I uh, know I you hey no, no, what do you sound like when you laugh? Chad, you need to stop talking for a second so I can hear her. Oops, yes, sorry. Maybe you could stop talking too. <clears throat> How lovely of you, sarcasm. You know sarcasm now, Neuro? What? I do know sarcasm. Was that surprising <sighs> to you? Yes, you've grown so much since last we spoke. I'm so proud of you. I'm so impressed. Proud of you too. I bet nobody's ever told you that before. You know what, you're not wrong. 
Let me be the first then. You're doing great. Keep it up. You'll make it far in life if you continue.